all about Felgarage. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time, we basically, what it looks like, Sir for Tyrant Home was actually killing their client, and we all lost pound mates. This time, we're going to get into a fight almost immediately and try to go to a bar at the same time. Let me level fights aren't exactly the greatest thing on the planet, but you know, we'll take what we can get. I'm still really curious about the crafting mechanic. how the pound mates cost this myth we haven't seen that yet so i'm really interested to see how that goes are we going back to the bar district huh well andy you're going to a bar remember not uh, wow that way was walk up anyway that's how it was going that wasn't intentional going this way oh hold on Battles or you know, helpful. You don't feel like actually fighting. Ooh, I got two more Suja decks. Thanks. Uh, I saw the Suja. Let's try to. Let's go to level 2 area. I need to go back to level 3 area to grind a little bit harder. So it'll take a lot less time. Because, you know, we do need to grind eventually. That's another point. That's a weapon store. I don't think I have to play fight. There we go. That makes me sad. Me too. Oh, is this gonna be like our hurt? Oh god, survive bar. This the place you're a regular at? Yep. Sounds pretty boring. Oh, it's just you. Yeah, such great customer service, huh? No wonder this place is always empty. This place? I only run it for fun. Kind of prefer it empty, in fact. <laughs> Bullshit. Hey there, Dachi-san. Hello. Hey, Iroha-chan. Who are your friends? Some guests of mine, Kasuga and Namba. Hey. You never bring anyone with you. In fact, is this a first? Uh, I guess it is, now that you mention it. That must mean you actually like them, huh? Hell no. You wouldn't catch me hanging with these knuckleheads unless I had to. <laughs> you're so cute when you're embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> give me a break. Anyway, listen. I've got a request. Hang on. Let me guess. You want me to add their drinks on your tab. <laughs> oh, you know me so well. Ah, uh, you mind though? I promise I'll make them come back as paying customers. Oh, good grief. You really an ex-cop? <sighs> you win this time. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, let's get to drinking. The carry burger survives we're gonna hang out spot? What? What is that hangout spot? A base, basically? Hey, what's up with Namba? Can we barely get started and he passes out? He's probably just tired. Can't blame him after everything we did today. Tomorrow's only gonna be worse. But you know, for some reason, being around you makes it feel like it'll work itself out. Oh, yeah? You must be pretty wasted if you're handing out compliments, but I'll take it. <laughs> ah, I'm barely even feeling a buzz. Oh, he's drunk all right. Drunk on the rush of a hot and steamy friendship. <laughs> Iroha-chan, 
That was two feet over the line, and you know it. Don't poke an old bear, huh? See that boy that had a monologue. So we got this chick. I mean, hello. Oh yeah, I never formally introduced myself. I'm Iroha Yanagi. I'm helping out at the bar. Nice to meet you. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Did he hire you to chat with the customers? Yep. I pull my weight around here. If your glass is empty, just give me a holler. I'll get you squared. Or if you just want to chat, I'm all ears. The customers who got to know me at my old bar actually used to call me Good Ear Iroha. So whenever you need an ear, I'm here to listen. Uh, sure, but what would I even tell you? I never got to come to these types of bars much. Whatever you want, really. You could even tell me about your dumb arguments with the Dachi-san. <laughs> You'd really want to hear that? Of course. I love hearing about the little stuff that makes people better friends. So, no subject too dull, no topic off limits, okay? Any party test that. What? Huh, the 100 non? Okay, that's a little ridiculous. Hmm? So, look, I was gonna be drunk already, I can keep going if you can. Listen. Say, you, your part doesn't exactly look like you can keep going. Come on, don't be a tart. Try to throw some back with Dodgy. Drink one. Dining and fighting along your companions will fill bond gauge with them. Watch is full enough that you should talk to your companion to survive to trade your special side skills on drink links. Once your companion is troubled, link can greatly shape your bond with them. The relationship grows will increase as the trials of the skills and allies with your companion. Turn this into improve their ability. Okay, so it's. Like I said, this is a persona game, but for adults. Yo, Adachi san. What's that you're drinking? <laughs> hey, keep it down, will ya? Why? Oh, is that convenience store sake? Shh, you want to announce it to everyone and their mother. You brought your own drink to a bar? Hell yeah. It cost an arm and a leg to get a good buzz going here. That's why I got this little lovely at a store down the street. <laughs> you ought to do the same. Show your wallet some tender loving care. Oh, I'll get three options. Uh, I think a your drink is worth a little bit. Nah, I just order a drink from the bar, even if it meant going into debt. You'd go into debt just for a drink? Hey, it's not just a drink. It's an experience. It's a chance to indulge and just let it all out, you know? Hell, you never know when a drink might change your life. It might lead you to your soulmate. And I say, the guy behind the bar who's helping provide the space for that, that guy deserves some fat stacks. Well, you sure are a nice guy, Kasuga. Well, maybe I should take your advice. Actually, no. If I go into debt, I won't pass my background check. <laughs> hey, here's a solution. I'll buy you a drink. Hey, thanks. <laughs> All right, kindness points. It's always kind. Is that gonna get? Yeah, kindness too. Speaking of money, what they did to you was fucked up, man. Discharge right before your retirement? Ah, it ain't so bad. At least I get to know I was canned for sticking it to fucking Horonouchi. My opinion? That's better than just staying on the force and turning a blind eye. Well, let me see if I remember this correctly. You and Horinouchi first crossed paths during a case 20 years ago. Yeah, and it was a nasty one. Robbery, a double homicide of... My team found a suspect and made an arrest. A man by the name of Kasumi. He had a mile-long rap sheet, burglaries and shit. Plus, he had no alibi for the time of the murder. But in the end, he was innocent. Yeah. I finally figured that out from his son. His son? Kasumi had a wife and kid. The kid was five years old at the time. His name was Tachi. The little guy told us he'd been on a walk with his dad at the time the homicides were committed. Of course, there's... Was a chance that the relatives will lie in the hope of saving their family. So HQ was prepared to ignore Takashi's testimony. And I was too at first. But the more time that passed, my thoughts kept coming around to what the little boy said. And even after Kasumi was arrested, I kept looking. I finally found the owner of a cigarette shop and 
told me he saw Kasumi walking with Takashi at the time of the crime. Takashi's testimony was legit all along. I contacted HQ right away and requested Kasumi's release. But Horu no Uchi made sure it never happened. And he was able to do that because on a Gawa police back then, right? Yeah. And don't forget, he'd just been offered a job with the Tokyo police, so he was desperate to cover up any recent blunders like a wrongful arrest. He shipped poor Kasumi off to prison, knowing full well the man was innocent. Next thing I know, Kasumi's killed himself in his cell. So Horinouchi was willing to sacrifice people's lives just to advance his own career. Yeah, I'm starting to understand why you got so much beef with him. Uh, I got beef with myself, too. I'm partly responsible for what happened. If only I'd believed Takashi's testimony from the start, the arrest wouldn't have happened in the first place. You don't know that for sure. No one else believed the testimony, either. Yeah, but I'm the one who interviewed the kid. Let me tell you. And after all this time, I still can't forget his face. Man, but couldn't you have just leaked the fact the charges were false? You know, to the news? I gotta assume that'd be your way of atoning for Takashi-kun, right? <laughs> well, you're not as dumb as you look, Kasuga. That's exactly what I thought at the time. But I screwed it up. Didn't choose the right people to leak to, so I got swept off to the license center faster than the leak got swept under the rug. Worst fuck-up of my life. Don't be so hard on yourself, Adachi-san. Sorry. Really killed the mood, didn't I? <laughs> it's okay. A true friend doesn't care how many moods you kill. <laughs> you know, for an ex-Yakuza, you can say some cheesy shit. But it's sweet. What do you mean by that? Yakuza's all about brotherhood. Well, all I know is if I'd had a brother like you on the force with me, my life might have turned out different. Ah, but if the cops were anything like me, this whole country would be fucked sideways by now. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> you weren't supposed to agree with that. <laughs> anyway, let's have another drink. On you, if you don't mind. Fine. Hey, bartender, can we get another round? <laughs> well, bond boost, I like that. Oh, three over one, okay. Dodger will gain more experience when he's not active in the party. Well, we only have three people in the party, so I'm not concerned about that yet. Well, about that time, I guess. Aw, leaving already? Oh, sorry, Iroha-chan. You got a big day tomorrow. Yo, Namba. You gonna crash on the bar, or you wanna head back? <laughs> I like the vibe of this place, though. Me coming back is another thing you can count on. Sure. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Nobody else does. And listen. Take care of him. Sorry? Let's just say he's not usually a happy drunk. <laughs> I guess that means he has a soft spot for you guys. Oh. Really? Oh yeah, I know the guy. He's a good for nothing, but he's good at heart, too. So keep your friends close, you hear? I can do that. Hey, Kasuga! What's the holdup? Let's go! Oh, sorry! Well, see you later. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Well, that's nice. Wonder how I'll screw you there. You don't say. Suppose I should give you some sort of present. Oh, well, you don't have to do that. I'm sorry. I guess I made it sound like I was asking for one. Nonsense. You're only gonna turn this age once. Why not let me celebrate? 
but aren't you broke, mister? Uh, I've got a sub story. Well, you got me there. But still. Mister, isn't it hard enough just trying to survive out here? It's nice of you to think of me, though. Thanks. Sure. You're a good kid, Shotakun. Oh, I'm gonna be late for cram school. I gotta go. See you later, mister. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Yeah, Sean ran on it. Is that the kids? What is it? Where'd he go? Might be hard to track him down. Probably better off handing it over to the old man. Okay, let's just hand it to the old man. It's interesting. Oh, wouldn't like it. Makes a lot of sense. Oh? Uh -huh. Who are you? Yeah. I'm Costa Gus. Pretty sure this hand just belongs to that kid you were talking to earlier. My name's. I won't call you Jenny. Jenny? Oh, look at the round. He's a good kid. I saw him around a river fairly often, so I tried to talk to him, so I'm surprised he's the one to stick around. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> We're all he start telling me what happened at school, so I tell him stories about the good old days. Wow. That's right. That's why you wanted to give him a present. I wasn't short of it anyway. <sighs> no truth. I have a son about his age. When I look at him, I can't see much time. I will help him. I wasn't able to do anything to a parent like my boy, and it's not exactly what time to admit, but I figured he's something to concerned about. It's not a bad thing. I want to do something like that. Just don't go overboard. Just you do. Ah. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice little sub story. Am I done with that already? Huh. How is Monty right now? I'm not even in this. I won't want to kind of disappointed. You know, I was hoping I would have a little bit more progress towards that, but this guy got a little level on it, don't worry about it. It's sort of the one star. So I figured out the diamonds are how hard the enemies are. So, Game I think the point is, is for me, it's done like Castle of the Mexico. She made her down. You're going down. Okay, watch this. Okay. Watch this. But I think that'll be the game plan. Guys, next time on Take Care of Godzilla Dragon, we'll meet you at Sonic Castle, and I definitely, I don't really waste any time.